This is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And this here is my bag of sorcery soap dough that I made before going on vacation two weeks ago. And uh, it's been sitting inside here. I guess technically it's been saponifying um, in a Ziploc bag. And I thought I'd show it to you and see what, see what you think. So, when you take it out of the bag, it's, it's kind of cool and wet and it doesn't seem to stick much to my gloves which is good when I first got it it seemed to when I first made it it stuck it does have some lumps in it like right here I think I can roll this out and show you the lumps I'm gonna put it between um, two pieces of paper this is freezer paper like that and Grab the old rolling pin, roll it. And when you do that, you can really see where the lumps are. All right, can you see that section right there? That was a lump. This here, this here, those were lumps. Um, that were in it, so you kind of have to work around those. One of the things that's in on uh, the blog, Sorcery Soaps blog, is that um, she uses. Uh, corn corn starch to roll out the soap dough. So right now I'm just trying to massage it a little bit to break up some of those clumps um, and make it all nice and smooth. It has a very nice um, texture and feel to it as far as a, a moldable soap goes and I was able to make some stuff out of it yesterday when I tried. Let me see if I can make you a rose real quick. Okay, I got a little bit of cornstarch out. There's some of that in the back. I also changed the perspective so that you're right in front of me watching as I make this. Um, a little bit of cornstarch on my hands. Like that, my gloves I should say. Grab a little piece and roll it and flatten it out. And then I'm going to curl this in like this. And the rose begins to form. Set that aside. I found that when I worked with this the other day, it, it hardened up really fast. Not too fast, but it got warmed up in my hands. And then when I let it sit, maybe for an hour, it was already, you know, pretty, pretty solid. Just kind of amazing. I do have the air conditioning one in the house. All right, so this next one, I want to start a little bit before this curl, like so. And then roll the edge out a little bit, like that. Grab another piece. And I think for a rosebud, I'd do one, maybe one more. And if I were doing a full rose, I would do more than that. Roll a ball. Flatten it out. You kind of want to taper this top edge so it's pretty thin. And then set that there and wrap around. I think you could leave it as a, um, a rosebud like yeah. that. And I'm going to put some cornstarch down here and flatten it out a little bit. Rub some cornstarch on it. I'm going to see if I can roll this like this with my marble rolling pin.
All right, now I have um, this cutter that I'd like to try. It's from a Wilton Gum Paste, paste Kit that I got many years ago. Um, and it makes that makes it pretty big, pretty thick right now. I'm just gonna try a couple of them. Poke them through like that. If you wanted large embeds that would withstand shrink wrap or something like that, these would be kind of thick. These would endure, I think. Now the question is, what else can we do with this? This is too thick. I can roll the stuff out thinner. I'm almost out of time. Press down on these to make thinner petals. All right, I'm back. My battery died. I had a, well, I shouldn't say that. I ran out of room on my video. So here's what we have. Um, I rolled out the soap dough and I cut out um, pieces of soap with this flower shaped cutter right here. Poke them out. And um, they're a little bit thick. That's probably a quarter of an inch thick, which might be fine if you're just sticking it just like that on top of a soap. Um, it would be fine. Over here I have a, a cushion of paper towels. It's about two paper towels folded together and it's damp. And what I've done is I take the soap flower right there and push on each petal to flatten them out. So the middle will be a little bit firmer, thicker, and the inside will be I should say the edges will be thin, kind of like that. That's kind of what you do when you're working with gum paste. And uh, you kind of curl it a little bit more like that to make it look a little bit more curled. That would be kind of pretty. Um, let me do a couple more here. You could kind of crank these out. Um, so maybe you had something. Put some. more cornstarch on them. If you had a way to pop them out, I think it would work better. I think I saw at the store something where you can pop out flowers, but it's specifically for fondant, and I don't know if that works for this. Alright, so I'm making some of these here, and then I'm going to slide this over and see if you can watch here. I think a different color would probably be nice. <clears throat> I've tried this a few different ways. Um, I started out by just taking the little flower and pushing on each one to flatten it out. And that works. What you end up having is um, they start drying out a little bit. And so you need to get them a little bit wetter. Which is why I like to use the damp paper towel and if you do them by hand you can then push this in in the middle to make them curl up a little bit fragile that way but nice one two three four five One more here.
All right, so now that I've made these guys, I'm going to set them aside. Well, here are some of the things that you can make with some of the sorcery soap soap dough, uh, roses, and some five petal flowers with some mica coloring. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.